think we have a way of escalating out here in the west with one thing leading to another, but I should be able to make pretty short work of this ramified old son of a gun. Skaggs! Skaggs! I'm calling you out! Well, just hang on there, partner. I had to strap on my tool belt. Are you ready? Ready! Are you set? Set! Do you need a count? No, nah, sir! Well, that's enough gratuitous violence. Today we're going to be speaking about Quillbot versus ChatGPT. PLI editing face off. Who's going to win? Now, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, stick around to the end. Hey, I'm Henry now from Product Creation Formula. Here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks here to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that sounds interesting to you, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go check it out. Okay, so well, today we're going to be having a look at Quillbot Paraphraser versus ChatGPT when it comes to rewriting what you have. Now, you can choose to use ChatGPT for free, but if you choose to go using Quillbot for free, you'll actually find that you can only do 125 words at a time. So I would highly suggest that if you're going to do this, you go for one of the plans over here, which is $8.33 a month, which works out to be roughly $99.95 a year. There's also quarterly at $13.31 a month or $39.95 per year, or you can do $19.95 a month. It's up to you. And by the way, I'll leave a link for all of these in the description down below. And then we have ChatGPT, which, as I said, you can use for free or you can use as a paid option, which is $20 a month. All right, so what we're going to have a look at here is we're going to, first of all, bring up a ebook, which is Private Labor Rights, and it is Faceless Marketing Masterclass. Now, I'm only going to be using a small section out of this at a time so that we can get a rough idea as to what we're looking at. Understanding the concept and advantages of anonymous branding. In today's digital era, the importance of personal branding is often highlighted as a crucial element for success. However, there is an alternative approach known as faceless marketing, which allows individuals and businesses to succeed without revealing their personal identity. This chapter delves into the concept of faceless marketing, its fundamental principles, benefits, and practical applications for those just starting out. Okay, so let's go and copy over all of that. Let me just copy that. And we're going to be putting that straight into Quillbot's paraphraser. Now I'm in the premium section here. So I'm just going to close on, click on that. And what I want to do is I just want to use it as the stock standard version, just to get an idea as to what it's like. There are going to be three different things we're going to be looking at while we're making the comparison. Firstly, cost and accessibility. Number two, accuracy of content rewriting. And number three, ease of use. Okay, so let's just grab that and put that straight into Quillbot right here. Go Control V. And we're just going to leave it as stock standard. We're not going to be changing anything here. As you can see, it's 69 words. And we're just going to go over here and put that in there. Now we're also going to go over here. We have to put a bit of a prompt with this one. Please rewrite this entire paragraph, keeping the word count the same. I'm just going to get it to rewrite it. And we're now going to go and check out Quillbot and see what it's like. Recognizing the benefits and ideas of anonymous branding. In the current digital age, personal branding is frequently emphasized as a vital component for, of success. Faceless marketing is an alternative strategy that, on the other hand, enables people and companies to prosper without disclosing their personal information. This chapter explores the ideas of faceless marketing, including its foundational ideas, advantages, and doable application for novices. Okay, let's have a look at what ChatGPT wrote. Exploring the idea and benefits of anonymous branding. Okay, pretty good so far. In the modern digital age, personal branding is frequently emphasized as essential for success. However, there is another strategy called faceless marketing, where individuals and businesses strive without exposing their identities. This application examines the concept of faceless marketing, covering its key principles, advantages, and practical uses especially for beginners. Okay, so I actually, be perfectly honest, I really like 
ChatGPT is one verse best. But to be sure, let's now copy this and see whether or not it's going to have the same amount of wording. Same amount of character, same amount of wording. Because we don't want to shrink it up. That's one of the things we need to look at is quality and also maybe even quantity. So I'm going to start up a new page and we're going to just go over here, paste this into here. Now, remembering this is the ChatGPT version. And let's go over here, make sure that it's all, we cover the entire thing. Go over here to review, go over here to word count. And this here is 58 words. Now let's go and check out how many words it was originally. Well, we just have this highlighted here. Go over here to review. And it'll only count the highlighted area, so we just go there. 69 views, 10, 10 words less. So that's not always a good thing. So let's go back over here. Okay, so let's now delete that. And we'll go back over here to Corbot. We'll highlight over the top of that, we'll copy that. And we'll place that into here. And we'll do a word count for this as well. Now, obviously you want to bring that up to there. Highlight over just that alone. And let's have a look at the word count. Okay, word count is 64 words. Okay, it's actually closer to the mark. It's actually closer to the amount of words. But I think this one reads a little bit more clumsily than ChatGPT. I think ChatGPT did a better job in its actual writing of it. And although the word count is a little bit low, I personally think that word count does matter, but we can always ask it to expand a little bit. Let's go back over here and go redo, but expand a little bit. We'll have a look at what it does and we'll now just copy that, put that into the Word document and have a look and see how many words it does. Highlight over that, get rid of that, Control V, and let's just go back over the top of that, get rid of those exclamation marks, they don't need to be there. And now we'll just highlight over the top and we'll have a look and see what the word count is. 84 words, okay, that's good. Not only did it keep it in, it expanded it just a little bit to make it look a little bit better. Now let's see what it reads like. Exploring the concept of benefits of anonymous branding in today's digital world, personal branding is often regarded as a key to success. However, an alternative approach known as faceless marketing offers a path for individuals and businesses to succeed, to succeed without revealing personal identities. This chapter takes a closer look at faceless marketing, exploring its core principles, the numerous advantages it provides and practical ways to implement it, particularly for those who are just starting out and want to maintain privacies while building their brand. That is brilliant. I have zero complaints about that. Now let's have a look and see whether or not Quillbot will be able to expand this as well. So let's have a look here and see if they have got one here. We do have an option here to expand it. And we'll also have a read of this as well. Let's have a look at what, how much it expands it by. We'll just copy that. Go back over here to Word document. We'll just highlight over the top of that, delete it. Put that straight into there. Now let's have a quick look at the word count just here. Okay, so this takes it up to 92. Let's have a quick look. Comprehensive understanding of the concept behind anonymous branding and its benefits. It's a little clunky, a little bit too many words there. I think they're just trying to fill it out. Within the context of the modern digital era, the, signif the significance of personal branding is frequently emphasized as an essential component for achieving success. Oh my gosh, that's a bit too wordy. On the other hand, there is an alternate method that's known as faceless marketing. Yeah, I have to say, all right, I'm going to give this one to ChatGPT. So I would say, even though originally it wrote less words, it was easier to read. It made it, it changed it completely and didn't just throw in extra words just to bulk it out a bit which is what, unfortunately, Quillbot did. So, so far, I would say ChatGPT is winning. Let's have a look at the next point. Now, when it comes to the cost of things, because in price, this works out to be a lot cheaper per year than ChatGPT. ChatGPT, well, let's face it, we know it 
twenty dollars a month. It's going to be a couple hundred dollars a year. It's going to be two hundred and forty dollars a year. So well, let's face it, ChatGPT is a lot more expensive. At ch with ChatGPT, it's two hundred and forty dollars a year at twenty dollars a month. But with Corbot, for ninety nine dollars a year, you get it and you can use it unlimited as much as you want. So for it comes to cost, I would say Quillbot wins that one. Now, the last thing we're going to be looking at is ease of use. Okay, so ease of use, use is um, pretty self-explanatory. Now, over here, obviously, we're going to be having to go with this. Have a look and see how easy this is. We just place it in there and just hit paraphrase. Now, we can adjust the accuracy. We can adjust all sorts of different things. We can also adjust how it reads. And if we don't do that, we can actually do that as well. So there's a whole bunch of things you can do here. And all you have to do is just put it in there and hit rephrase. It's pretty simple. Whereas ChatGPT, you have to literally get in there and tell it to rewrite it and even expand on it if you need to. So what I said here is, please rewrite this and expand on it. And then we're just obviously going to put that there and have it rewrite that again. And as you can see, it's written it and it's actually expanded on it quite a bit. So you, you can tell it to rewrite it just a little bit or you can expand on it and do what it's done here. And that is and give it an extra couple of paragraphs. And it's obviously filled out a bit more information as well. Okay, so in total, who do I think is going to win this? Well, in total, from the three points that we're looking at, I would say ChatGPT is winning this. Even though I got Coolbot to expand on it, it didn't expand on it a huge amount. Where and when I got ChatGPT to expand it, it added an extra couple of paragraphs, which really expanded it up quite a lot. It writes it better as far as I'm concerned. And it makes a bit more sense as well, as well the, way, the way you read it. Cost, Quillbot wins that one. It's actually cheaper in the end if you're choosing to buy it yearly. Not much difference if you're paying month to month. But if you're paying yearly, I would say Quillbot definitely wins on that one. Ease of use, Quillbot wins on that. But really, in the end, what really matters is the quality. And I think... Be, to be perfectly honest, ChatGPT wins it hands down in quality. And I think quality is what really matters. So who do I think wins? Well, personally, my personal opinion is that even though Coolbot got two ticks when it came to all the other things, I think quality outweighs the other two points. So my opinion is Coolbot lost this one, even though it got two ticks, because quality matters more than the other two points. All right, guys. Hey, if you got some value out of this video, have you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, worry about it. Leave a comment down below and let me know which one you think actually won, whether it was Quillbot or whether it was ChatGPT. Also to let you know that right here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here, well, that's an image of my head. And if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And bye for now.